Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Daniel Argueta versus um, Nick, Agu Nick Aguirre. So Daniel Argueta versus Nick Aguirre. I might be wrong, might be Aguirre, but I'm going to say Aguirre for now. Correct me if I'm wrong. It is what it is. But um, yeah, I got to go Daniel Argueta. I'm going to go high confidence. Uh, late changing the opponent. The guy seems pretty talented, but very much untested. Like, he seemed like he got, what, like seven amateur fights, but never really fought nobody good in amateurs. Pros definitely have not fought anyone good. Barely fought anyone with a winning record. And definitely nobody that was tested in him, him. He himself is not tested. So, yeah. So, Nick Aguirre seemed like he has a pretty good skill set. But again, I feel like he probably got to need, like, no, he needs to take that step up outside the UFC before he comes to the UFC. I feel like he just coming in here because like, the short notice opportunity presented itself. He's like, I'm game. But I don't feel like he's fully game. I guess he'll give a good account for himself, but I just feel like it's going to be a case where this Daniel Argueta is just going to be able to dictate the pace on the feet, dictate, dic like dictate the pace in the grappling, be the stronger wrestler, be able to go out there, get the takedowns, control position, and just really have Aguirre just really playing, you know, playing from behind, playing response. Like, when he's on the ground, probably trying his submissions, probably trying to hit reversals, trying, you know, trying to make work, but it's all going to be based off what Daniel Argueta is doing. I don't feel like he had the rest. I feel like Aguirre is clearly the better wrestler here. Submission grab probably will give Aguirre maybe a slight gra grappling advantage, but you can't really even quote that really because, again, don't have the experience, don't really have the test to really say, oh, this, I fought this guy and this guy and this guy, and I my grappling held up there. I tapped out a pretty high-level guy here, did this and did this. Like, you don't have the background. You don't have that um that resume yet. So I feel like Aguirre should win this one. Like I said, it's not a lock or nothing because, again, we don't really know about Aguirre. We barely know about Argueta, to be honest, because he still needs, like I said, he's still fresh facing the UFC. He's still really, you know, fresh in a, in a sense, like as far as he hasn't really been. We have not seen his, tail, his ceiling. We have not seen his floor. So, it's like, you can't be going lock because uh, the guy been on short notice. But also a short notice, unless the guy's just some super stud, a lot of times short notice probably lose about 90% of the time, especially a little regional scene guy's been brought up. It's kind of come in and there just to fill the roster out with, fill the card out just to lose. And then sometimes they get in the UFC and they rebound and, you know, they start getting better. Then they then they make a name for themselves. But most times, even the good ones, they come to the UFC, they, they like 90% of the time, like, lose their first fight. So I don't see see any other case here. I just feel like uh, Arguetta should win this one. And I think he should be in better position to get his hand raised here. So in this one, I have Daniel Arguetta via decision.